Hey there, Bob. Stanley's with us today. Stanley, how you doing? How are the kids? Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? Let me know in the comments and we'll talk about it. Speaking of the comments, a frequent topic in the comments is slurry tests. Why you do them, how you do them, when you do them. And so over the next couple shows, I want to talk about that. So let's just get into the why of it first. And uh, well, first of all, the reason we do a slurry test most basically is because all of us in the nectar community know uh, that if we do a slurry test and we put those numbers out to the community, that people can take that and use it as a way to help us to figure out what we got going on if we got something going on. So it's a lot about consistency and about having a language unique to us that we can talk about that. But there's a reason and a logic behind a slurry test over what a lot of people say is, hey, why can't I just do a runoff test? I pour my water in, it runs out the bottom, I measure that. That gives me a number. But there's a reason why, other than just consistency, that we really don't feel like as a community that that works. And let's go into it. And what it is, I don't know if you've ever been to a buffet, like the Golden Corral or the hometown buffet. You take the whole family there. It used to be the king's table when I was a kid. I don't know what happened to those guys. Anyway, you get the kids, the kids' kids, grandpa and grandma, you all go down there on a Sunday, and they got that big long line of food. And you get your tray, you put your plate on there, and you load it up with everything you want. You take it, you all sit down, you have a nice time, you know, fellowshipping with each other, eating food, having a good time. Everybody's got exactly what they want. You get done, you take the rest. The, the, you, your eyes were too big for your stomach, you throw some out, you dump it into the thing. And that is a lot of what goes on with your plant, especially when you're using nectar. It's the idea behind it. So I'm going to use Stanley as an example here. Uh, you know, you pour all your stuff in here, and that's the buffet up here is where all the stuff is. And it kind of drains down into here and down here where the roots are and everything. That's where Stanley or any plant decides what they want to eat. And then what they don't want to eat, what they dump in the, the, you know, dump in the bin there, is down here and then slowly runs out the bottom. So when you're going to check those numbers, if you check the runoff, a lot of what you're getting is the stuff down here that Stanley decided he didn't want to eat, as opposed to the stuff in here, where if you do a slurry from some dirt just a little bit down, you get a better idea of what's actually going on in there. And that's the idea behind doing a slurry test. And it's really just as simple as that, but anything like this when you're new to it or you were discussing it, there's more nuance to it. So what I want to do is, you know what I've just said now about why we need to do a slurry test, what do you think about what I said? And what are, you, what are your questions about doing a slurry test? Let's talk about that today in the comments. And then tomorrow, day after tomorrow, we'll do a show where I'll show you how to do a slurry test. And then uh, after that, I got some good stuff for you. We're going to talk about once we understand about slurry tests, why we do them, how we do them. We're going to talk about when you do them. And I think that's going to be real valuable too. But I want your questions. I want your comments so we can uh, make this more tailored to what works for you to find out about doing these slurry tests. So uh, that's it for today. Questions, comments in the comments. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll talk about it. The OCG Fam Show. It's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow. We're going to talk about slurry tests. It's going to be a lot of fun.